Alright, this go around, we're gonna do things with the cop. Oops, too many clicks. There we go. So, same deal. We'll try to get the mayor's hat and become the new mayor. The cop starts with pistol, baton, and dizzy grenades that basically just leaves somebody standing there stunned for 10 seconds or so. I really never use these, to be honest. Uh, as far as his abilities go, he's got pretty much average everything, except his firearms are above average. Special abilities, he can handcuff people. It just neutralizes them non-lethally, like it says. I think you have to use it from behind, but actually no, you don't. You just have to be really close to them and they have to not be actively trying to fight you. And the quirk about him is that you lose experience if you kill or arrest anybody that isn't a criminal or a, a mission requirement. Basically, they have to either be actively breaking the law or required to complete the mission. And that's part of your big quest, too, is you actually have to arrest or kill so many people. Two points for arresting a guilty person, one point for killing them, and you lose points towards your big quest if you take down innocents. So let's Oh, we got some grenades we can win off the start. And we'll process her off the start. Let's go see about rescuing that doctor. Also, uh, other cops naturally are aligned with you. They will help you out quickly if you get in trouble. If you commit real crimes in front of them, though, they won't be happy. Happy to. So, I could arrest him right now. It would take a couple seconds. And he'd be out of the way, but then I'd lose points. Also, like I said, arresting does take a few seconds. If um, someone that's guilty, not on your side like these guys, sees you doing it, they will try to kill you. I think it makes a little bit of noise, too, if I remember right. These are guilty if they try to steal something. They aren't guilty just for walking around. Because, uh, here, what you can actually do knock on the door, and arrest him, right there. Because he doesn't see you as a threat until you actually try to fight him or do something to him. I haven't stepped into his building, so he finds it there. So you can get away with a lot of arrest just by knocking on the door and arresting the guy that comes to the door. Hmm. Problem is now I can't knock on the door again to get that guy. I'm having trouble timing this to get through that door while that guy's not looking not working out well for this. I think what I'm going to have to do is get over here. The rotation is just right so that it's always in the wrong spot for both. I'm trying to figure it out, but it doesn't look like a spot is going to open up here. Also watch out for that floor there, because that floor there will hurt me. Nope. I don't think this is going to work. Yep. It's not. I'm going to have to do this the hard way. Ah, crap, I just stabbed the middle of stab, too. I tried to get that baseball bat around with it, but that didn't work out for him. So, I didn't get the two points for the rest, and I didn't do it quickly and painlessly, and then I lost a point for killing that innocent person, or maybe two points for killing that innocent bartender. So, that's why I was trying so hard to time it just right, but it didn't work out. Alright, now that everything's gone, now we the security system here. I'll escort this guy to the exit for the rescue. A nice small level right at the bat, so that's a quick trip. Now I still can arrest people that are just in my way, but I've got to make sure I've got enough progress on my actual gold handle. I want to get to that chest, but this red laser will explode if I touch it. And it will set off the security system. Oh, damn it, I stepped on a thing and didn't notice. But luckily it's just gonna make me weak for 20 seconds. No big deal. Alright, what's the other part of my mission? That's a hostile zombie, but it's not directing my mission. So, since these guys will get upset if I touch the button, the game makes automatically guilty. 
a locked door I gotta get through anyway, so what we can do. Oops, no, we didn't want to select you. Knock on the door, he comes answer, and arrest him. But now anyway the seize him will also get angry at me, so try to let anybody see me until I'm ready to arrest them as well. Bouncer would also count as guilty because he's guarding the door. I timed this quickly enough. If you're quick enough when somebody comes around the corner, you can arrest them even though they're going to be hostile. But the timing is really tough to get right. And yeah, that's a good one point for. There we go, see, I timed that one right. I did get one point for killing you. Better than nothing. Good news, I'm really close to a level up, and you get full health back every time you level up. Which I'm gonna need. It. I could actually release the zombie, but I don't want to. This is just a risk I don't need to take right now. There we go. There's my level up. There's my flailing arrested guy right there. Okay, nothing I really need, nothing I have the money for anyway. So you, the big quest um, for this character, you don't have to complete it every single floor. It, it shows you the floor, and then the slums, the three floors set before it changes, just for keeping track. But all that matters is you have 150 points worth of arrests and kills by the time you get to Mayor's Village. I'm going the wrong way. It will give me a warning that the big quest wasn't completed, but that's... that's so like here, if I really wanted to go get this chest, I could arrest everybody in here, but that's the point. Good thing though is that drug dealer is guilty just because he's a drug dealer. And people generally don't get angry at you for arresting guilty people if they're not their friends. So we get a quick two points for that, plus they drop their inventory. Let's see what we got here. Long lunge, no infighting, we're studious. I'm gonna take the extra XP one. Since I got it so early in the game, that might uh, translate into a couple extra levels by the time we're done. Okay, what do we got here? Operate all these for money. Destroy a generator for a hard hat, and I absolutely don't need a ghost gear. But I'll sell that for money too. Okay. Check the trash can, let's grab some stuff. Here's a beer, a couple of coins, a cigarette lighter, these for starting fires. It's a line, it's got a green circle and the line. Slave Master? Slave Masters? I didn't realize we're guilty by default, so I didn't remember that. But they are apparently, so that's good news. So we're gonna arrest them as soon as one can't see the other. He'll go help the buddy. Arrest the Slave Master. He won't be angry because he didn't see me do it. Arrest the other one. Citizen comes and looks. They come and check it out because they see you're doing something. These slaves are now happy because I freed them. Okay. Let's see if anybody's close enough to see me knock on the door. They might not be close enough to hear me. I wonder if I can lure somebody closer. Hey. Knock on the wall. Hey. Hey. Good. Now, if I can. Yeah. Now, now, come over here. Now that you're that close, come out to the door, thank you. I didn't know that would work. That was just something I decided to try on the spot. Okay, get past the fire. Use the computer to lock doors. Although I probably shouldn't have that guy was nicely trapped in there. Oh, countdown. Sometimes these have a 20 second countdown. You gotta get to the wall before the countdown ends. Oh, he's gonna know I'm here now. I don't 
don't believe they can be rescued once they're lying there handcuffed either. As far as I know, they just stay there forever. You don't accidentally kill them in those experiences. Uh, also, stealing from people is a penalty, I think. Or, no, it's an experience penalty. It's not towards your quest, but I actually lose experience from stealing from people that weren't guilty. Quick check here. Thieves and gangsters aren't automatically guilty. Steal from me though he is, and I can kill him for points. No. Okay. Oh, see now he's guilty. He just stole from somebody. So I can run him down if I want. And arrest him. Nobody will mind, because he's guilty, and he's worth extra points for it. So I'm gonna do a quick scan of the level looking for drug dealers or slave masters, I guess. And shapeshifters, I think, are evil, but I don't think you can handcuff them. What do I have to do in this building? the generator. So the guy working here, the only one that'll get upset if we go in that room, is automatically guilty. But he doesn't know he's in trouble, so you can just walk up to him. Slap him cuffs. Grab his key. Doesn't really matter if the security camera sees me because there's no turret in here. And I can safely steal from this refrigerator because he's a guilty guy. that. One more to do. Retrieve something from the safe in what looks like jail. Maybe a zoo or something like that. I don't need the rock. Safe master. So again, looking in here, people aren't guilty because they're in jail. The way this works, they were guilty, then they got thrown in jail. The gangster is guarding it. But he's guilty. And now he's been safely arrested. And I can actually let these people out. There's a little quirk here, just a second. I'm just gonna get the safe first. So these people aren't guilty because they're in jail, but if they try to escape from jail, then they become guilty and I can arrest them. So we're gonna open all the doors. I feel like everybody's now guilty. So I can just start slapping cuffs on these people as fast as I can, and I'm getting points for arresting them, even though I was going to let them out. So I just got a whole ton of experience for the big quest, or points for the big quest, and experience for arresting the people that I let out of jail. Shouldn't have tried to escape. Clerk and the goon are guilty. We'll arrest the goon. Try to 
Open up! We know you're in there!
before the goon showed up and they would hit me before I could fight back. I knew it was like, okay. Oh, firefighters. They start showing up on the second floor. Take care of accidental fires. Common blueprints. Kill an ammunizer every third kill. Get me some ammo for every weapon I'm carrying. It's not a bad thing to have. Although, I only have to hold up right now. Not a vital thing, but useful. That means the copy is good with guns, so getting in more guns would be kind of the same. Alright, pretty much gone. I can check if there's anybody else guilty to arrest on the way. Besides those three gangsters walking around, there probably isn't. And since we covered, I can't just go break into people's houses to kill them to steal their stuff. Oh, sleep. So, yeah. Why were those other sleep masters guilty? On the previous level, I thought they weren't. Maybe they killed somebody on the first level or something. Whatever. Maybe sleep is legal on that floor. I don't know why. It was okay to do it last time, not now. I could start the fight. These cops would all help me. that one in time. I didn't think I would. I think his buddy actually shot him while I was arresting him, so I didn't take the bullet. People don't get angry when you break their crap. You're harder to aim at. More mobsters are on your side. I actually like that one. A cop. It's on the fourth uh, floor. There's mobsters, and then when all the mobsters and all the cops are on your side, it's uh, a pretty safe place to be, really. Anybody that picks a fight with you is picking a fight with half the city at any given time. So, let's see what we got here. Offer the buttons for money, neutralize some worker for a free item coupon, and kill health and I. Killing people heals you. I'll be able to kill a lot of people as a cop. So, it's not as useful as it would be for, say, the assassin. But, if you have inventory space, Open up! It's the police! You're under arrest! Thank you for that nice shiny axe. Oh, first of Come back in a second if we know where the selling thing is. Put it around the city and find a place to sell crap. Okay, there it is. Come near it and go on my radars. Okay, syringe. Syringe. Processor. Syringes. 
sell. Ah, there's some sort of gas in this building. Which 
they're protected against because of their gas masks. Which they unfortunately drop. Gas is only like the year round or where the gas symbol, I guess, is going on. It might poison me, it might weaken me, it might slow me. I don't know what it is. I don't need bullets. 
I don't need really. I have so much money. Okay. Backstabber, double damage from behind. If they're not in combat. On crits, sometimes hits just won't hurt you. And can't hit people of your own class unless they're hostile. So I can't accidentally hit cops unless they're after me. I'll do that. I hate to accidentally shoot a cop. Okay. There's a quest right here, right away. Generator? Yeah. Blow up the generator. I need to refill any guns. No way. Load automatic lets me buy cop stuff if I wanted it. I don't need any cop stuff. I have so much money though, I'm gonna refresh my baton back to 200. Anybody here to hear me? Anybody? Nobody close enough to answer the door? Oh, now he is. Take a second to wait for the fire. Hi buddy, you're under arrest. building, by the way, you're under arrest. I'm trying to hit the laser. Clearly not working. Auto-targeting. It's me to shoot. Generator, so... I'll shoot the generator. More stuff from the chest. The parks are nice, wide open, short levels. that guy. This buddy's gonna help him, so we're not gonna even try for the arrest. We're just gonna go for the kill. There we go. You're dead. I don't really I don't even need to sell anything anymore anyway. I can pretty much just throw stuff out. Jumping over the bushes at me. Another camp hurt me. More cannibals down there. Okay. I rest him in time. I can before he turns around. I wasn't sure I could. Oh, don't come this way. You'll see, buddy. If you went the other way, this would be easier on me. Why are you making me gotta hit you? Oh, right to the bear trap. Robbing the soldiers and the cannibals attacking me. Soldiers extra hate cannibals. He's dead. And one of those soldiers is hurt. Oh crap, I should let him get a little further around the corner. Of that. What happened to my buddy? up directly into the barbed wire. <laughs> that was super smooth, soldier boy. It's the worst possible way to kill yourself. Explode yourself on your own grenade into your own barbed wire. Oh, I need junk to sell again. I don't want this crowbar. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to use this free item. I'm sure we'll just take the money. I don't want to talk cocktails. They're too dangerous. Uh, with grenades, everything else is good. I am going to be done my big quest in plenty of time, I think. Has the shopkeeper got anything I want? Well, it's best, we'll take that. And we'll stock up on the food items we already have. 
have spots for it because they don't take up any extra inventory to stack more. Let's find out what's going on in the park in a second. Oh, drop weapons have more ammo. I like that one. Later on in the game, sometimes you end up shooting a lot of ammo in a hurry. Okay. Kill, oh, kill a robot is after me. So it's basically a Terminator with a rocket launcher after me. He's all but unkillable. He's slow as balls. Robot's halfway to me. You can see his progress on the map here, so I'm gonna let him get near me and we'll see if he can blow up some cannibals for me. Alright, buddy. There you are. Didn't do as much damage as I thought I was hoping to hit that generator. There it would kill more cannibals.
course, we'll take a bunch of other stuff. And I got a box of fireworks, which, in conjunction with my super explosives perk, will completely decimate some sort of building when I ever decide to use them. around. Oh, here's a little exploit I can do for a couple points. Do, 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 do. Hello, Mr. Police Officer. How about you? Can I have the key to the cell, please? Thank you. One out. You're out. You're under arrest. Get back in your cell, jerk. See that guy? He's trying to escape. Yeah. I know. Don't worry. I arrested him. I'm keeping the city safe. Crooked cop. Okay. This extra crooked cop is. What's he gonna do here? Where's the shopkeeper? I'm gonna stop with the shopkeeper and free the sleeve. We'll do that. Oh, oh. Remember what we just did? Hi there. I have the key. There was a jailbreak in the last floor, and I want to make sure that's not gonna happen here. Oh, he's trying to get away! I got him. I got him. I got him. Don't you worry. Good job, fellow peacekeeper. God, we're good at upholding the law. I knew I wasn't going to get him for the train there, don't you worry. Not me. Oh, good, it's cinematic. Uh, let's see here. Craft the tongue. Strange. I'm going to keep the box of fireworks, you never know. That might be fun this time.
rest. Relatively safe to this up. Potato cutter. Can't teleport while you're indoors, right? I'm gonna teleport right over here. Pick up that beer. I'll check my inventory, see if I have any extra crap. I have lots of extra crap I don't need. Let's drop the shirt. Drugs or alcohol or planning exists, so I still got. 
uh, stay away from the cop bots. Now, if the cop bots are coming after me, then the regular cops will wonder why they're coming after me and their ship will keep getting worse progressively. Where's the doctor? Rescue. Ooh, rescue's a tough one. I don't know if I'm gonna get him out of here alive. I'm confident if I can get him out of that room, but.
buy the cod piece for the little armor. That might need it here. I don't really need anything else he has. Uh, well, let's just arrest him. Get over with. Hope the goon doesn't see me. Doesn't appear they did. I got a shotgun finally. thing is, please not status effects. That's all I ask. God damn it, status effects. Alright. So, great thrower right now. Big deal. Everybody has some special effect. It's pain in the ass. Okay, it's frozen. That's a crappy effect. I get the new health regenerating is a nice one, but I gotta retrieve something from that safe. Yeah. 
sleep? Again, I murdered somebody. Again, I'm dizzy. Ooh, regenerate health, that's a good one to at least have. Get my health back before I get off this level. But there's no emergencies, no other weird stats effects. I should have stopped the game. Law-abiding law enforcement it means I actually get promoted to super cop. I don't remember what all that does, but we're gonna find out. I remember some of what that does. Play a super cop. No experience loss for arresting innocents. I already had that, but some things won. They'll just let the laser down for me because I'm a super cop. I can approach the mayor directly because bodyguard is super cops. So they can get up to without any trouble. But besides that, I want to use these fireworks just because I want to use these fireworks on that. I'll see what they'll do to me. So might be a bad idea and I might lose the game because of it. But I'm going to blow up the church. That's what's about to happen here. by way of my handcuffs and pistol. Our criminal justice system is inherently flawed. Everywhere I go, I see people beaten with batons for the smallest of crimes. I ask you this from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> Where is our machine gun budget? I didn't have a machine gun. And so, the mayor was arrested and sent to jail. Deaths to spend the rest of their life brand jailhouse food and then the rest continues as it normally does and the only thing that matters the only thing on everyone's mind is partying down I'm pretty sure we're actually doing the Macarena not 100% sure but it looks kind of like the Macarena hey Macarena ta-da super goblin 